We all know keeping fit boosts your chance of living longer, but can it have an impact even with a cancer diagnosis? A Cancer Research UK funded study is recruiting men diagnosed with prostate cancer to see if exercise can keep their cancer in check. I was diagnosed with early stage prostate cancer and my lifestyle was very sedentary. The very idea of a gym was repulsive to me. But actually, now that I'm part of that fraternity, I love it. In this trial, we're trying to work out if we can deliver aerobic exercise training as a novel primary therapy for men with localised prostate cancer. When men are with us during supervised exercise sessions, we track their heart rate using heart rate monitors. And they also track their own heart rate when they're doing sessions away from us independently. We're interested to see eventually whether exercise training has an impact on something called prostate-specific antigen. Prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, is a protein produced by cells of the prostate gland. And PSA level, which is measured in the blood, can help show if prostate cancer is growing. It's early days yet, but the data that we do have suggests that exercise might actually be beneficial in terms of helping regulate the way that cancer cells grow and repair DNA. Through doing this exercise, my PSA level, which had been going up sort of alarmingly for a while, has suddenly come down again. I don't know what it actually means to have a PSA level that's reducing on a regular basis, but I know it's got to be a good thing. If we do find out that exercise training is beneficial in terms of helping to control prostate cancer progression in its first phases, then it might be that fewer men actually progress and advance to a stage of cancer where they will have much more invasive treatments such as surgery, radiotherapy or even hormone therapy. And the idea that exercise training might help control prostate cancer progression will also come with much fewer side effects is something that's really exciting for patients and maybe something that the NHS can offer as a treatment if we find it's beneficial further down the line.